Uma, the move comes in the wake of the Nipah infection being confirmed in four people. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, the Health Minister of Kerala, Veena George, has uh, confirmed that at least uh, three people now uh, have been uh, confirmed to be carrying the virus and among them the brother-in-law and also a nine-year-old son of the person who had died on the 30th of August. What I must point out is three things that they have done. One, of course, the Health Minister has declared uh, the containment zones uh, in uh, the areas which are affected in Kori Code and in those containment zones, they specifically mentioned the wards in the different uh, village panchayats, the gram panchayats, where uh, it will be a containment. Containment will really mean that nobody will be allowed to come out or go into those containment zones unless they are uh, they are having special permissions, which are most uh, likely not going to happen because they want to contain that area and keep it endemic to that area now that they know that there is an outbreak of this virus. Second thing that they have done is that the schools in that area have been told that they must go for online classes. Those people who are having uh, the, uh, the uh, you know the uh, uh, under the uh, uh, seven Siksha Abhyan, the uh, people who are having equivalence tests of 10th uh, class, those people have been told that the tests in that particular area, wherever the containment zones are there, that area it is going to be uh, cancelled and postponed and the rest of the state is going to continue to have uh, those exams, 10th uh, class equivalence exams under the literacy mission. The third point that they have done is to give a very detailed note in Malayalam uh, to all the people living in the area and in fact across the state uh, and uh, among the prime primary uh, things that they have said is that there is no need to fear. This is not like the COVID-19 where it will very easily get transmitted, but you must avoid proximity with people uh, who are having uh, having, uh, are having uh, symptoms of uh, any of the uh, Nipah virus symptoms. And they have said that N95 masks must be used uh, by everyone and that the healthcare personnel who are treating those people who are coming in with symptoms also should be wearing N95. They have also said that uh, in those areas, people who are having the symptoms, the health department would be in constant touch with them and would in fact uh, uh, advise them over phone. There will also be counselling that is conducted because very often when these kind of uh, outbreaks happen, there is a, a psychological distress and panic that also sets in, especially in those areas where uh, the uh, you know where uh, any of the symptoms are reported or the deaths have happened or containment zones have been done. So therefore, they are saying that counselling is going to be available round the clock for people there. First, the first case that happened on the 30th of August, they have identified we are told more than 168 contacts. Many of them are in fact the healthcare workers who had uh, treated that particular person. Uh, in fact, they had believed that uh, that person had died of liver cirrhosis, but it's only subsequently when the second person who was uh, who had spent about one hour with the first patient uh, in hospital when he was hospitalized, that is a patient who has in fact died on the 11th of September and therefore his contacts were also being traced and his brother-in-law and son are supposed to be, are said to be in hospital and in quite a serious condition and therefore uh, now the uh, you know contacts 168 of the first patient at least 200 of the second patient and uh, they have identified the healthcare wor workers as well as the uh, so so social contacts and family members of these people and they have all been told to stay in isolation uh, and uh, also been told that uh, you know this is while this is supposed to be uh, something that's a zoonotic virus and can come through animals but here we are talking about man to man is what has been confirmed uh, in uh, Kerala and that uh, yes fruit bats were the ori original uh, uh, source of the virus that's what the ICMR has found and they have given them a detailed list of do's and don'ts and what you can do what you can't do and watch out for the symptoms that they have mentioned which sound uh, like in a sense uh, COVID symptoms as well where you have uh, high fever and you could be having cold and you could be having cough and you could be having uh, breathing problems as well and uh, subsequently there could be uh, reports of uh, uh, peeping, peep, feeling disoriented and headaches as well. Back to you.